this is Paul. Yeah. <laughs> See, um, the only thing I know is what the law says. I can read the law for myself. <laughs> I can see a picture of my sister Susan Bowers in a Rotarian newsletter and I know that it's not Marilyn because <laughs> I know what Marilyn looks like and I know that when you send court notices to the wrong address, I'm not getting them. Oh. <laughs> I know the requirements of the law because I can read what the law says and when you don't allow me to speak to my sons because of your fraud, I have to ask myself, well, what is it that you know? <laughs> Do you know that my genetics were used to make some some infants that have my brain waves? Ouch! As if we were connected through your top secret grid. Yes. Now you wanted to say I was crazy, but this has been proven. Factual. Now on July 8th of 2011, Heidi had abducted my sons. She had moved to Clallam County. She lived at 1023 Kitchen Dick Road. Yes. And I think that she had sold some of my sperm because there was somebody that wanted to make a Benjamin look-alike or was it a Paul look-alike? <laughs> now, when you really think about the use of technology, you might not realize the effect of the actual brain that is formed during the gestation period of a manufactured child. Yes. Now, if they happen to have my brain, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> I might have some phenomenal connection to them. Now, you know what you've done. <laughs> now, for every one of my relatives that said, well, he's going to have to call me, Uncle Wayne, I'm like, no, you're going to prison. <laughs> Not only are you complicit in the abduction and kidnapping of my sons because of the fraudulent use of protection orders, yes, <laughs> the fraud of issuing a dissolution of marriage where there was no proof of service. Oh. You're complicit in the crime of using my genetics without my consent or knowledge? Yeah. Now, depending upon the number of actual children, right, that were made from my genetics, it could be that the police and sheriff departments finds them in prison for a very long time. <laughs> Now, I mentioned this in previous videos, that any time a woman runs into court and said, he's crazy, I need to have a protection order, and you didn't have jurisdiction or authority of law, you, you have to evaluate what was the actual motive. Was it the Oprah shows? <clears throat> was it the use of the judiciary to make shows? Ouch. <laughs> was it that you were paid uh, hush money? Yes. To not really divulge what the real crime, I mean, these are all major crimes. Yes. But what's the big fucking crime right now? Now, let's say the police department does know what I know. My civil rights are being violated. <laughs> and they do know of forgery and fraud. Yes. They do know that they had the evidence I wasn't in Brennan, Washington. Yeah. <laughs> and they know that I wasn't in Squim, Washington because I was in Port Angeles, Washington on December 31st of 2015. <laughs> Now, it's something to go to prison for a couple decades for the intentional obstruction of my rights as an American citizen, and then it's, well, it's probably a life sentence for or creating or manufacturing any person out of the genetics of another person without their knowledge. <coughs> well, you can't actually use the genetics of any citizen without their authority or consent. Oh... Now, whatever mistakes Heidi made while we were living on Guam where she didn't swallow, yes. I do remember going to, uh, well, how many of them did you make and how many of them have my brain? Because, <laughs> shut, 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 shut.